so this first book on the list it's not the first it's just the first to be shown is um growing vegetables by helena dove um it's a really nice laid out book um you know you've got everything here you need how to force rhubarb is this little article here um you know perennials annuals biennials how to harden off planting out all that sort of thing but i think my favorite part about this book is just the illustrations we have on these pages beautiful illustrations of every plant you can imagine to grow you know here mizuna um peppers and you have loads of different you know the different shapes and sizes you can get and it's all laid out the same there's none of this i know a lot of books have you know where to grow on one page and how to grow on the next and like they've got a different crop and they don't always have like the same subtitles on every page a lot of them are back and forward whereas this one's beautifully laid out you've got like notable cultivars here little fun facts and it's all set out impeccably really um it's a really nice laid out book storage methods you know unusual crops as well it's all here um you know even pro there's projects so this is project six and sweet potato slips you know and there's just loads of things in here but it shows i can't get over the illustrations of like you know the flower the root it's all in here it's beautiful the runner beans here are the same i can't get over the illustrations in this book they're beautiful and the information in the book is really really good as well so that's number one so number three is grow food for free by hugh richards um it's really well set out um really good actually how to do almost every well no everything in your garden for free so this ranges from tools as you can see here you know watering devices and then it's all about the so you know how about soil and how how you can you know improve fertility for free propagating for free which is a really good one and um, i've learned a lot from this book uh you know artichokes how to grow them um and then there's even on seed swaps and you know how to swap with people and traps all sorts and it's really good uh, laid out um i follow this quite often i'm referring to this book um in my garden uh it's really good for my context because i like to grow things cheap and for free and i think all in all it's a really tidy book well laid out um you know it's all of good quality the pictures are amazing showing you exactly what's going on the writing you know some books are so detailed that you don't understand them whereas this one's like a good down-to-earth and understandable level of reading easy you know you can pick up flick through right that's what i need and then off to go into the garden itself so this is a really good book to have on your shelf next book I'm going to be talking about is the RHS Complete Gardener's Manual. It's the new edition. Um, it's a good book, but I wouldn't really buy it again purely because there's a lot for a veg gardener. There is a lot about flowers in it, and a lot about ornamentals and ponds, and because veg is only one section of gardening or horticulture it doesn't get as much um, spotlight in the book as the ones dedicated to veg are and you know it, it runs over really basic things like three-year crop rotation you know hygiene barriers traps and controls and things that you could that you will have in those other previously mentioned books so really if you were going to get just three books i'd probably go for the previous three 
but nevertheless it's a really good book you know it, it explains things easy varieties to try there's all these good things in it it's just the fact that the it is very like it's a fine sliver of gardening like of veg growing compared to the whole book but you know taking cuttings it applies to most um aspects of gardening so you can um you know move it like you know even though it's using um roses you can sort of like use the principles for say rosemary but the lawns and that you wouldn't really use the lawn in veg growing and then there's a lot on ponds and you know then there's a lot on flowers and different types of flower but otherwise it's not a bad book but I wouldn't pick it as a veg grower I picked it as a as a gardener just general reading to gain knowledge but if you're just a veg grower and you're just interested in vegetables which I mainly am but I do do a bit of other things this is definitely not a book for you so this book is coincidentally by Hugh Richards again um, I really like this book because it runs through month by month of what's going on uh, in your garden or in the bed but it also explains you how to build a raised bed how to um, where to plant so like your north side, your east side, your west side, your south side like that um, but I think the best part about the book is this um, these little diagrams and they're in every month um, and they're really good because the little key here shows you like what's in each and what stage it's at so as you can see the lettuce here in May is at harvesting stage whereas the potatoes are growing on and the runner beans have just been transplanted so it's a really good way of uh, keeping track of what's going on and you could even like copy this and do your own sort of um, diagrams for your own beds so it's a great idea and then there's a uh, you know how to start off seeds and all sorts of things. it's a really jam-packed book of information this is a wealth of information and the pictures and illustrations are really tidy and all in all it's a great book um i've been following it quite tight um you know in the in your, your transplanting so instance your section you got potatoes and then you got kale uh lettuce followed by spinach and then you got like leeks here you know it's it's a really good well set out book because it, it explains to you what's going to happen in each uh, month you know you're going to start to harvest all of these until you come to an end then you're going to be transplanting your new crops in so all in all it's a great book and it even gives you a bit then of like containers and you know extra little side bits so i think it's uh, definitely up there in the some of the best gardening books you can get now the last book by uh dr dg hessian i think that's how you pronounce it is the vegetable and herb expert now as it says on the bottom the world's best selling book on vegetables and herbs now this book is quite old um, and I would agree with it it probably is the best but it's outdated it is really outdated by now purely because a lot of the varieties in here some of them you can't get some of them are long gone some of them you know you get new better ones 
but I think the main problem with it is a lot of these treatments or preventions, the, the sprays and all that, <clears throat> they're gone. So prevention to some of these things doesn't exist anymore. Um, you know, a lot of these preventions you can't physically prevent anymore because you don't have the sprays available. Um, but otherwise, it's a good book for, you know, spacings and general information about plants. Um, but it does focus a lot on the plant and not so much on the soil. And I think the soil is a big part in, um, you know, a garden. Without the soil, you don't really have a garden. It's a good soil, good garden. But this focuses a lot on the, the, the plants itself that are growing in the garden. So, you know, it's a bit more narrow-minded. But nevertheless, it's a really good book. Um, and there are a lot of, like, you know, unusual plants in here. Salsifies, for instance, um, that I wouldn't really expect to be growing in a book like this. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's a good book. It's just, like I say, it's a bit outdated. Purely because a lot of these things are unavailable to us anymore um, or you know a lot of people have gone organic so there's not the demand for those preventions anymore um, but that sums up my five top gardening books for veg growers um, that, like I say they're in no particular order they just that's that's how I laid them out on my bed to um, just show you through them and that's how I did it. So thanks for listening. Uh, hope you join me again next week. Until then, have a good uh, week gardening.